Hi, I'm Paul Kasabian, I'm a structural engineer, and bicycle wheels, from a structural point of view, are actually quite clever. They cover a lot of things that we've gone through in previous videos on columns, pretension, and arches. So, first thing to think about with the bicycle wheel, we're going to cover three things. The first is that when the load comes down here, where it reaches the middle hub of the wheel, that load's got to go straight down to the ground, which means these spokes are columns. They're columns that are, have to carry a compressive load. But we've covered columns, and normally columns are not slender. So how are spokes made to work when they're like this? Well, what they are is pre-tensioned. You may remember we did pre-tensioning when I showed a pack of cards and the elastic band, so that there's something in tension that allows another be bene beneficial behavior. Now, what we have here is these spokes are in tension, and that means that when a compressive load comes down on them, they don't go into compression, they go into less tension. I have an example of that here. We're just gonna move over to this bit. I put a really thick sort of band here that's in tension, and it's in tension from here down to the bottom. If I grab the middle of this, which I can twang this, right, and I pull it down, or rather push down from the top, so this part's in compression, I've put this compressive load into this lower part and it has gone into less tension. It isn't fully uh, into compression. I could actually do that by pushing it down there and now it's got absolutely nothing. But if it's less than the tension in it, it never goes into compression. And that's how, if we come back to here, that's how these spokes get to say so slender. They always remain in tension, which is really smart. Second thing to realize about bicycle wheels. If these are all in tension, then where all of that tension load that's radial on these spokes is getting balanced in circular compression around the perimeter of this rim and tire. And that's like the analogy we saw with arches, <coughs> where we had uh, vertical hangers and you had load going compression through the arch. But when we deal with arches and vertical loads because of gravity, those arches have a funicular load that goes through them that is not semicircular, right? We covered it, that it's, it's a different shape depending on the loads, but it's never semicircular because we have vertical loads. Whereas, when you've got spokes going into tension radially, the counterbalancing force does become a circle. Now, a nice way to think about this is I'm gonna grab some soap bubbles. And yes, the entire reason of this video is so that I can blow soap bubbles at you. Um, with soap bubbles, the air pressure inside the soap bubbles is pushing radially outward, and that's being balanced by the tension in the soap film. That's how soap bubbles work. So you've got, you've got in 3D soap bubbles the opposite effect, compressive air tension perimeter, as you have here, which is tension spokes compressive perimeter. So that's the second interesting thing about bicycle wheels. The third is that these spokes, I said they were radial, but they're actually not, are they? They kind of go slightly off-center when they come to the, the hub. So let's go to the very back of the bike. And here, this is the reminder of why they're not quite radial, which is that they align tangentially to the hub, because of course, the whole point of a bicycle isn't just to take our vertical weight down, right, from the center. It's also to move forward. So as we have this torque that occurs at the hub when we bicycle, we need to transfer that load axially into the spokes. And so to do that, so that we're not twisting them, that the spokes, the spokes come in tangential to the hub as they go out to the rim. So there we go. Three things about bicycles. Tension spokes in pretension, so they never go into compression, balanced by a compressive circular rim, which is great because it's a wheel, and third, that those spokes are just slightly off radial so that you can take the torsion loads at the hub tangentially into the rim. And that is why bicycle wheels are so clever.